Hello Jurassic fans or Jurassic collectors alike, my name is Jacob and today we are going to be reviewing some Roar of War figures. Now, it is March 25th of 2020, a lot of you may be asking, wait, isn't Primal Attack out? Why aren't you doing reviews on the Primal Attack line? Well, what you should also know is that in March, we are now under quarantine, which means I can't go out anywhere. I can't do online shopping because I don't have an account. So what I'm deciding to do is do some reviews on some older figures. Now, a lot of people reviewed these already. So what makes mine different? Nothing really. It's kind of the same process. I'm reviewing the same dinosaurs everybody else has, but I guess it's a different person. That's what makes it different. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get these reviews in. First off with the Rorivores Metricamphosaurus and Ankylosaurus. Dino Rivals. Now these were found at Ross for $8.99. In my opinion, these two are the most underrated dinosaur figures of the Dino Rivals line. Uh, I feel like obviously Mattel just wants more money, so they just recolored these dinosaurs. But I feel as if these were specifically made to be a uh, theme for Dino Rivals, you know, because you got the red Metricanthosaurus with kind of like orange and the black to represent the black, the red, the orange kind of bit. So the Metricanthosaurus is a Dino Rivals paint job, whereas the Ankylosaurus is somewhat Dino Rivals as well, but we are going to start with the Metricanthosaurus. So on the front of the box you get your name of the dinosaur, the Metricanthosaurus. You get Owen Grady, your Triceratops, your Dino Rivals logo, and your T-Rex right there on the front, your product shot of the Metricanthosaurus, doing its action feature, your Jurassic World logo, your T-Rex background with the actual tag. I should probably take that off. Probably should have took it off at the beginning of the video. But... We're not going to take that off because it just ripped. Anyway, you get your little Wi-Fi symbol noting, hey, this dinosaur can do noises. A little Wi-Fi symbol because it's got three lines like the Wi-Fi symbol, it's only missing that. Anyway, you get your little little picture of the button saying, hey, push here for some noise. Then you got your open box showing the dinosaur in the package. This side of the box, you get your T-Rex along with your Jurassic World logo. On the top of the box, you get your Jurassic World logo. And on the back of the box, you get a product shot of your dinosaur doing its feature. A collector card, which I have removed already. These boxes have been opened to remove the Dino Rivals card. And then you get your Jurassic World logo along with that other Wi-Fi symbol showing, hey, this dinosaur can do noise. Your other collectibles, the Ankylosaurus, the Cerato no, Ceratosaurus, and Baryonyx. The Jurassic World Facts app, you can scan the bottom of this foot to show facts about this Metricanthosaurus in particular. Then you've got your copyright claims and warning symbols actually the copyright stuff is probably down here i don't know it's maybe not copyright i don't read it then you got your mattel symbol right there who's showing hey this is by mattel buy our product and that's pretty much it so before i open the box let's review the card so right here is the card you get your metricanthosaurus right here with the name on top then you've got your your strength being a seven your speed your yeah speed being a five your intelligence being a five and your ferocity being a six this is number 23 out of i believe 50 and on the back you just get your dino rivals logo and jurassic world logo so again already unboxed for the sake of the card so getting this dinosaur out and one thing you guys need to know about me is that me being a collector um a lot of people just clip the tails into these dinosaurs I don't, mostly because I cannot buy two of the same dinosaur, I can only buy one. So if I had two Metricanthosauruses, then I'd probably buy one, put the tail on, and then save the other one in the box. But I can't, I can only buy one. So what I do, since I would like to put these back in the package, since I would like to put these back in the package, I simply just the tail. So putting this on, again, I want to be able to put these back in their original packaging if I want to replace dinosaurs that are on the shelf. It still does what it does, it's just tape, like it's been broken, so 
nothing's really different about that. But again, I just simply don't want the clip on the tail and then throw all these dinosaurs in one bin and then have everything get warped like the legs or the arms or anything like that. So that's why I tape these tails simply because I can just take the tail right back off and stick it back in the packaging like I never touched it. So anyway, here's your Metricanthosaurus. The articulation, you get legs that can clip, soft clip itself going upwards. I believe these can go full 360. I don't want to tempt it just in case that I break it. The legs also do do the in and out thing. These arms can go back and forth and they can rotate full 360. The jaw moves obviously for the feature and the tail doesn't move, it just sits in place. I can move it because I just taped it. And I don't Paint job wise, you've got obviously a red Metricanthosaurus with the brown black kind of striping going across its back here. You've got orange up here on the face, on the top of the head, and on the snout area. It's got this kind of yellowish white for the teeth, which on mine is done pretty well. No splash anywhere, well, apart from right there. But other than that, you've got the pink inside for the mouth. On the feet, you get painted toes on the top. You don't get anything on the bottom. Let's get down to the roars. So first roar. I feel like I've heard that one before in a Jurassic film. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure I've heard it before. It's not like a herbivore. Yeah, you know. Carnivore. That's the Indominus Rex. That's the same one as before. I think that's the fourth one. There's four sounds when it comes to these roar boards. I think. I think the Ankylosaur might have three, but I know for this fact that this one has four. And a lot of people are saying it's random. It's actually in sequence. I think it goes, at least for this guy, it goes one, two, three, and then one, two, four. It is not random. It is a sequence of roars. It just makes you think that it's random, but it's not. So anyway, that's your mitten and it stands. That's another thing. This dinosaur can't stand. The fact that the feet are pretty small for what it is, I think the tail does balance it out pretty well. And, well, that's the best part when it comes to a Jurassic dinosaur. You want the dinosaur to be able to stand. So moving this guy out of the way, our next one up is the... Ankylosaurus. So much like the Metricanthosaurus, the same kind of box art, you get the Dino Rivals logo with the T-Rex and your Triceratops, the name of the dinosaur right here, your T-Rex design on the back of the box here, and then your Jurassic World logo right here and on the top. Your product shot of right here, on the back you get your Ankylosaurus pictured there with a little Wi-Fi symbol again saying, hey I make sounds. Fact app, Dino Rivals card with other dinosaurs that you can get, the Ceratosaurus, Baryonyx, and the Metricanthosaurus. Your warning labels and copyright claims, and this is obviously by Mattel. So again, bought it Ross for $8.99. Let's see if we have a better chance of removing this one. Nope, I'm not going to mess with it no more. I forgot to mention these do come with instructions if you want to read instructions. Anyway, so here's your Ankylosaurus right here. This has got the brownish paint right here on the top going across the back. It's actually not brown, it's kind of like a greenish gray that fades into this greenish yellow kind of paint. The whole underside of the dinosaur is painted orange or molded in orange plastic. And the actual, um, not spikes, but the actual bumps, I can call it spikes, of the dinosaur, the actual button is a different color than the rubberized spike pieces on the back of the Ankylosaur. Uh, this Ankylosaur does have a yellow eye with a brown pupil. Ain't nothing on the tail. Uh, it's just very bland. It's just two pieces of plastic glued together. And my Ankylosaur has separation with these spikes here. It's like this is completely separated from the dinosaur body. You got your sound speaker, which I didn't mention on the other dinosaur. You got your sound speaker along with your battery compartment. And 
articulation wise, this head can rotate a full 360. It's on a ball joint, so you can move it roundabouts. Yeah, the feet here are kind of on ball joints, much like the Metricanthosaurus. How the hind legs can go do that in and out type thing. All these legs can do it, except for the front. The fronts are really difficult to do, but they can do it. So all these legs move in and out, and they also move. Obviously the tail moves, but that's for the action feature. So let's get these sounds, which I believe on the Ankylosaur, it's only three. So the first one is number one. It sounded like a carnivore rather than a herbivore. I like that one. Okay, sound like the swing of the tail. That was the first sound. Okay, that sounded like the swinging part. Yeah, so I only heard three. There could be a fourth one and I just didn't really realize it. But there's three sounds that come with this Ankylosaur. So, they are both Ouroboros. They are both $8.99 at Ross, or if you want to get them at Walmart or Target, if they still sell them, you can get them for from between $12 to $14.99 if you're lucky, or you can get them for clearance. Clearance is always good. Save your money. Unless you're buying dinosaur toys, you don't save your money at all because you're buying dinosaur toys. So, size comparisons. Obviously, the Ankylosaur and Metricanthosaurus. Everybody has an attack pack rack. This is the Dimetrodon. Battle Damage Steve Mog, Eddie and Malcolm here. Thrash and throw Tyrannosaurus. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have for this. I think overall, the Metricanthosaurus and Ankylosaurus are worth a purchase if you weren't able to acquire them the first time with Fallen Kingdom. Okay. Well, the Metricanthosaurus lives and it brings the Ankylosaurus over and eats them. So. This is pretty much all I have to say. These are two Roar of War dinosaurs that I think everybody should pick up. But, if you guys enjoy these videos, I will keep uploading them. Buy them. All of them. Make us proud.